a viewer named Grant sent in his Xbox One X to a repair shop to get it fixed. Unfortunately, not only did they not fix it, they actually made it worse because now it overheats. They charged him $180 and refused to give him his money back. So I told Grant to send it in so I could take a look at it. I think I've already got some good ideas as to what the problem is, so let's get it taken apart. Oh, and this video is sponsored by iFixit. I use iFixit toolkits because I love the high quality tools. The people at iFixit are great and the warranties on these tools are also amazing. If you're looking for a large toolkit, like this one, the Manta Driver Kit, or even a smaller toolkit, you can get them at ifixit.com. I've already found signs of a shop that doesn't really know what they're doing, screws that are stripped. A good repair shop uses the right size a bit, and they know how much pressure to put on to make sure the screw doesn't strip, like these ones. Luckily, I don't think they're totally stripped out, so there's still a chance I can get these out without a problem. So let's first try the size a bit that they should take. Okay, here we go. This one's loosening. Let's try this one. Yep. This one. There we go. This one. Yep. And even though they're stripped right now, just using the size of bit that these screws need is turning them out just fine. Now let's have a look at the inside. and I can already tell why it's overheating. They didn't actually clean off all the old thermal paste and put on new thermal paste. It looks to me like they just put a tiny bit of new thermal paste on over the old stuff. And unfortunately that just doesn't make a good enough thermal connection. Once I get this put back together, of course we'll put on the perfect amount of thermal paste and then it definitely won't overheat. Let's take a look at this HDMI system. So it looks like they had to run some traces. Well, that's one problem. That trace wasn't soldered on all the way. Let's check these others. That one seems good. That one's good. That one's good. Also, I see this over here. That's another problem. This is not connected right here. They needed to run another trace from here to here. It's really surprising to me that a technician who has the skill to run traces like this, I mean, sort of the skill, they didn't get that soldered on all the way, but it's really surprising to me that they wouldn't have just put in new fresh thermal paste since they already had it apart. So in order to fix this, I'm gonna solder this joint back on. Then I will repair this trace by putting a wire from here over to here onto the trace. And then I'll check out the rest of the system. Okay, now we have this connection repaired. We've checked all these connections. And then I also double checked this connection and made sure it was nice and strong on both ends. So now I'm gonna clean up all the flux and then we should be ready to test it. I'm gonna clean up this glob. There's a lot of solder on this pin. I don't want it to contact another pin or the ground plane or anything. So I'm gonna clean that up and then we'll be ready to go. And there we go. And now we need to deal with this thermal paste issue. And you get as much of this old stuff off as we can. And we'll get any of this new stuff off too.
And now it's time to put in the perfect amount of thermal paste. And this will definitely fix their overheating issue. There we go. And now we can install this nice clean heat sink onto the motherboard. Now let's get this thing put back together and see if it works. So I just noticed something else funny. This piece right here is stuck onto the fan housing. This doesn't actually go here. This actually goes onto the metal top plate that goes down after you get all these inside here. So this will also help the overheating problem because now the fan air will be channeled right out where it's supposed to be instead of having this end lifted up like this. That would make a big difference, but definitely could make some. So this piece actually goes right here. You just squish it down some more as it fits on there really loose. Better. And then this just fits right over all of those pieces. And we'll put in some new heat sink clamp screws just to make sure that if anyone else needs to get in this thing, they can do so easily. Now that it's all back together, let's see if it'll work. If you wanna see more Xbox One X repairs, I've got a whole playlist just on fixing these. So we'll put a link up on your screen here in a second. So you can click on that and come hang out with me over there and see me try to fix more Xbox One Xs. That all being said, let's see if this one will turn on and see what kind of picture we get on the screen, if any. Good, it turns on, come on. Yes, we've got a nice 4K display. I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes here and just make sure it doesn't overheat, but it looks like we fixed Grant's Xbox One X. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to iFixit for sponsoring this video. If you wanna get some of the best precision tools out there, go to ifixit.com and I hope you have a good one.